Y'all see this thumbnail right here? This is an accurate representation of how this entire fight went. Slade done turned my goat into Fetty Wap. <laughs> and to make it worse, Slade was doing all this shit from the afterlife. Man said, oh y'all need to be alive to fight y'all ops? That's tough, could never be me. I'ma crash out wherever I'm at. But y'all already know I didn't come here for the yapping. Let's get straight into the boxing. So the scene starts and Robin is out here hallucinating. Slade's mask got him geeking off that zop. Robin hits these lights and Slade spawns right behind him. This man really thinks he's in a horror film or something. Like I am not scared of you bro. Unless he takes that mask off. Oh yeah now I'm really shook. But they start talking and Robin's out here talking about some. I'm familiar with your game I'm about to pack you up. And I really don't know what happened for him to talk like this. Because the last time y'all fought in a 1v1 you got dropped. Straight dog walk like the boy wonder that you are. Robin attacks Slade and he misses so bad that it got me looking at the screen like damn who's he fighting danny phantom bitch they start jumping from platform to platform and slade gotta be spider-man in disguise because you telling me he's hitting these super soldier verticals in this heavy ass suit nah ain't no way but robin tries to one up him only to almost get sent to a no. juice world concert see this is why you can't try to go band for band with certain niggas all it does end up making you look try but Slade walks up to him, and I thought he was gonna hit him with a blue lock kick right to the face. Would have had Robin with that NBA young boy forehead. But instead he starts capping, talking about some, your friends won't find the generators, and they can't see me. So, there's no way out of this one. You're done. And while Slade's standing over him talking shit, Robin's just hanging down there like, Fuck all that! He swings up and now he's just acting different. Cause what are these Power Ranger ass moves? I promise you, you are not shaking the room with that little bro. Robin goes at Slade again, but he's just looking untouchable. And when I say untouchable, I really mean that shit. Because he goes into his Injustice command list and throws out a full combo, but Slade just weaves all of it. Then Robin takes a page right out of Luffy's book and starts spamming attacks. But Slade catches his punch with one hand and he's like, stop it. You're embarrassing yourself, little bro. Slade breaks his wrist and then decks him right in the face. This shit is getting so tragic, it got Robin looking at his hands, seeing if he could still count to five. Quick, Robin, what's 10 plus 10? 25. Robin runs at him again, but Slade is just in cruise control, dodging his punches with his arms behind his back. And at this point, I'm convinced that this is just Donzo with a fully maxed out Sharingan. Cause ain't no way he's this untouchable, bruh. Slade grabs Robin and starts manhandling him like the little boy that he is, throwing him onto the ground, and we see that Robin has become a victim of the now talk pose. I know Batman is somewhere raging right now, because we're supposed to do this to the opposition gang, not the other way around. Robin gets up on some, I won't let him what get away are you doing? with this, runs right at Slade, but all those shots to the head must have turned him into Stevie Wonder. Because instead of attacking Slade, he runs right off the bridge. But luckily catching himself with one of his gadgets, swinging all the way back to the ground. And I don't know why, but Robin's defense was looking like any of the walls in Attack on Titan. He wasn't blocking shit. Cause Slade just walks up to him and socks him right in the face. Catapulting Robin into straight concrete and dirt. This fight is starting to look like Floyd Mayweather against any boxing YouTuber. Slade is just out there getting any move that he wants off. He activates his Michael Jordan vertical, punching Robin making his head roll all the way back. He Flash steps into the frame, then charges his attack like he in Smash Bros, landing a flying elbow right into Robin's stomach. Robin tries to recover, but Slade got him on straight clamps. Steps on his cape, picks him up, and laces him again. I know Robin gotta be able to count every single star in the galaxy right now. Cause Slade got him in the longest combo I've ever seen in my life. What kind of place is this? But while that's going on, the rest of the Titans finally pull up and they hear Robin screaming for his life. Slade is out there dominating on offense and defense. That brother needs help. They walk through the door, and to them it looks like Robin's beefing with the box ghost. But to Robin, he's fighting a Shyrak demon. Slade really got this man's mind in a chokehold right now. It got so bad that Robin tried to up it on his own teammates. The Titans are looking at him like, why are you mad at us? We didn't make you look like Fetty Wap. But Starfire is tired of all this ruckus. So she blasts Robin in the back, giving him a well-deserved rest. But after all that, the Titans bring Robin back to the tower to figure out why he's tweaking like this. But while they're outside talking, Slade spawns out of nowhere with a torture device. Yo, is this a goddamn Saw movie? I thought this was supposed to be a kid's show. But while Starfire is out there pressing them to help Robin, Robin's heart rate starts spiking. 
That man was under so much stress that he done caught that Goku disease. The Titans run in to help, but Robin is already gone. They see the vent that Robin went into and Beast Boy tries to follow him. But Robin done turned the entire tower into beyond scared straight. And now since no one can get in or out, it's time for round two. Robin throws out this punch, only for Slate to toss him out the way like he jazz. And before Robin could even land, Slate is already sprinting up, delivering a lethal shot to the gun. I'm not gonna lie, Robin's gonna need some of that spiritual water that Katara used to heal Aang after he got his back blown out. Cause if not, he's gonna be in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. Robin throws out two punches only for Slade to dodge them both. Slade grabs his arm, then puts it behind his back, and I would call him a freaky ass nigga for this, but nah, he's just devious. Because he tries to break Robin's arm and then throws him off the banister. Robin manages to recover, but that boy is out there looking like Gohan, and it's dark as hell. That man is cooked. Meanwhile, Slade is up top cheesing the height advantage, talking about some. He jumps down and punches Robin in the gut and back. And as he rolls into the banister, Slade is like, I got one more enemy, kneeing him right in the ribs. I know that one hurt. Robin weaves the next attack and finally tries to go on offense, but Slade got him on straight clamps. Get back over here and watch this goddamn combo. Stops his attack and then slams him to the ground. Then he just picks him up like a duffel bag and throws him into these boxes. And as Slade is walking menacingly down the stairs, he got my goat hitting the Yamcha. It really pains me to see Slade doing my goat like this. He's lucky I wasn't there because I would have been going crazy on his ass. But as Slade is about to finish him, Robin realizes that Slade is only in his mind. Slade starts running at him, but Robin turns on the lights, no Kanye West. Thus ending Slade's tyranny for good.